There are two eyelets in the Bernina 480 sewing machine. You're gonna find them in the buttonhole area towards the end. Stitch number 61 is a satin stitch eyelet and 62 is a straight stitch eyelet. So what's nice is, is that when you go ahead and stitch them, they just stitch one repeat. So you can even use the start stop button and definitely the scissors when you are done and it's gonna perfectly stitch out an eyelet. So you could easily kind of poke something sharp through, give it a little twist and anything could come uh, through that eyelet. So we do use those in our stitching cosmos. Here's where I have added some eyelets and then put some cord and yarn through them and strung it uh, just to be decorative. It's so, yes, they can be practical and decorative at the same time. Now I'm gonna show you at the end what you can do if they don't match up. But before I get there, you do find that you can adjust these both by length and width. So if you would like something that is more oval shaped, all you need to do is play with the stitch length and stitch width knobs. I'm gonna push clear, put it back to normal. 62 is a straight stitch, so this is gonna go even faster it is a triple straight stitch, so it has some nice definition to it. And as you do stitch, if for any reason it comes out not perfect, you probably need some stabilizer behind your fabric. But you also have the ability to go into the eye and adjust with the balance option. That's the one with the little picture of the scales. So when you pick for balance, what you do is you change what you, or match the picture to what you see on your fabric. So if I see that my stitch is below where it needs to go, then when I come back in here, it's gonna actually fix just by pushing that a little bit closer to the correctness of it. Look how perfect that is. So if you have any of those options. Now straight stitch eyelets can go lots of different places. They could be bubbles for fish. They could have some different ones. Oh, I'm gonna put that back to normal, but I'm gonna come back out and use my normal adjustments. They could be, again, longer, shorter, even smaller. Another place that I've seen eyelets used, either one, would be to tie a quilt. You could totally put all your layers together, batting back and bottom, and then just go ahead and almost just place this in the proper points. You could just put the start stop button on, go ahead and stitch it all the way through, touch the scissors, and then, oh, that's right, I made it smaller. <laughs> and then all you need to do is lift it and move it over to the next block and the next one and just stitch. And before you know it, it'd be like you tying the quilt and not having to worry about ties coming out because it does lock it when it finishes the stitch. I can come right here and clip that thread and not worry about those coming apart as things are going and getting washed. So try out your eyelets. They're like little miniature buttonholes and you will find them in the buttonhole menu.